In Baldur's Gate 3, you can pick from many different origin stories when creating your character. There is one in particular that is extremely unique. The Dark Urge in Baldur's Gate 3 is one which basically means you're going to be playing a dark, twisted version of the story in Baldur's Gate 3. And this changes not only the narrative of the story, but also events in the game, making the Dark Urge the most unique of all the origins. Let's take a look at the Dark Urge and what we know, and that way you can decide if you want to try it out with Baldur's Gate 3 launches in a couple of weeks. If you choose the Dark Urge in Baldur's Gate 3, your past will be mired in mystery, and you will have to learn what the Dark Urge really represents throughout the campaign. But one thing is for sure, you will have a thirst for blood, and all of the normal expected events in Baldur's Gate 3's story will become tainted and twisted and dark. There will be times where your lust for murder will take over, and you will come out of it realizing what you've done and have to deal with the consequences. It will be up to you if you decide to fight back against the Dark Urge or go with the flow and dive deeper into its depravity. The Dark Urge origin, if selected at Character Select, will Will open up the most unique cutscenes out of all the origins in Baldur's Gate 3, and depending on your choices, will also open up different paths within the story, giving the replayability of just this one origin a ton of credit. They gave examples during the panel from Hell for the Dark Urge in Baldur's Gate 3, and it even showed how even the simple act of meeting companions is going to be turned on its head with the Dark Urge option on your character. The Dark Urge origin gives me the feeling and vibes of Vampire the Masquerade, where you have a madness that is trying to take over everything and all of your options and choices. A really unique thing about it in Baldur's Gate 3 though, you can pick the Dark Urge with any race and any class. Can you resist the urges and actually fight it completely off by the story's end? Or is it inevitable that the Dark Urge has too much power and you eventually must succumb? I would be remiss to not warn that the Dark Urge origin in Baldur's Gate 3 should not be for those faint of heart. The brutality and the relentless thoughts and actions of a killer and the urges one has will not be for everyone. One thing is for sure though, the Dark Urge is a completely unique and interesting way to play Baldur's Gate 3 and changes the game at its very core if you decide to give it a go. I'm sure that the God of Murder is going to be involved in all of this plot, who is Ball, and I'm sure the revelation is going to be something of epic proportions, and I've seen a ton of comments on my Baldur's Gate videos of people wanting to play the Dark Urge Origin. But whether you decide to try out the Dark Urge or not on your first, second, third, or fourth playthrough of Baldur's Gate 3, it will always be there waiting for you. An option you can always go to for an experience unlike anything else. An option to become a serial killer in a CRPG world that is already filled with enough content, secrets, and options, and paths to take mixed with both player choice and dice rolls that this is really just another example of Baldur's Gate 3 just being a next level RPG that offers so much choice and options that we're going to be playing and talking about it for years to come. Do you plan to play the Dark Urge Origin? Let me know in the comments down below and what race class combo are you thinking of going with for it? Can you see yourself doing it down the road if you're not planning to do it right away? I hope you enjoyed the look into what the Dark Urge Origin is, and if you want more Baldur's Gate 3 content, please like and subscribe, and until next time my friends, God bless and happy gaming. I want to give a very special thank you to the members of Napalm for your contributions month over month in keeping me full time. You help me pay the bills so I can keep streaming and pumping out content, and I truly appreciate all of you. Thank you so much, and I think you might be interested in becoming a member of the channel. Please click the join button down below the video for more information and join our family. And I want to give an extremely big shout out to the Lords of Napalm, Bounty Code, Jared Woodhouse, Dime Lopes, Farthest Reach, Sparrow, Christopher Hensel, Random Rob, Zelic Lib, Rodney Yo Mom, Vander, Gallery Moonsong, What's the Takeaway, Trips, Bad Wolf Gaming, Richard Glass, Chrono Guru, Cobalt, and the Cyber Nomad Witcher. Thank you for your highest tier membership.